The Arab League says it has reached a deal with Syria, aimed at starting talks with the opposition and bringing an end to the deadly violence in the country. The agreement came during a ministerial meeting at the organization's headquarters in the Egyptian capital, Cairo. It calls for stopping all acts of violence from any source in protection of Syrian citizens. Under the agreement, citizen residential areas must be clear from all armed aspects. Damascus has also agreed to release prisoners detained in connection with the recent violence. The Syrian government has agreed to the following, an end to all acts of violence from whichever source for the protection of Syrian citizens. Secondly, releasing the prisoners of the current events. Thirdly, evacuating all cities and residential neighborhoods of armed forces. The initiative also calls on Syria to allow the Arab League as well as media and rights groups to move freely around the country and monitor the situation on the ground. The decision and agreement has paved the way for the Arab League's organizations as well as Arab and international media outlets for free movement throughout Syria. The government is also required to start talks with the opposition within two weeks. However, the deal has failed to bring an immediate end to the violence. Activists say at least 11 people were killed outside the western town of Homs on Wednesday. This, as state media say, some 15 members of security forces were killed when their vehicles hit an explosive device in the central province of Hama. Syrian authorities have blamed armed groups financed from abroad for the deadly violence. They say over 1,000 members of the security forces have so far lost their lives in violent clashes. The United Nations says more than 3,000 people have died since the unrest erupted in March.